All right, so this is going to be the solution to the 18th problem in the grind 75. This one is called longest palindrome. And given a string s, we want to find the length of the longest palindrome that can be built with the letters found in s. So something that I was able to recognize is that you basically, my first thought was that you want to keep all letters that have even counts. And then you only want to keep the odd, um, a letter with an odd count if it has the largest odd count. Um, but I failed to realize that you can also use a letter if it has an odd count. Um, you can just use one less than that letter, right? So, I mean, I can say we have this example right here. We have the letters A, B, and C and the counts five, two, and three. So we can still use four of these letters. We can use all of these letters, and then we can use um, you know, two of those letters. So that was probably the key insight that I missed. Um, another key insight, which I was sort of aware of, but I wasn't um, exactly sure of the right way to implement it because they gave us um, upper and lowercase letters. But I think in general, this is probably the best approach. Um, I know if we make a fixed length array of integers or of 128, then we can represent the entire set of ASCII characters, you know, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and numbers. And then we can index into the specific part of that count array by using that physical character. And so each time we come across that character in a string, we'll pass it in to um, the, we'll index into it, into the string essentially, and we'll, or, so we'll have a string, we'll take A from it, for example, and we will have our char counts array, and we will pass in a to index into that char count array, and then we'll increment it if we find it. So I'll just do that really quick. So integer, this one is going to be called char counts is equal to a new integer array of size 128 representing all characters in the ASCII uh, set. So we're going to now iterate for char C in s dot two char array. We're going to increment it at the spot that we see. So we're going to go to that point in that fixed length char array. We're going to pass in our character, and then we're going to simply increment it by one. So that's pretty, very simple, very memory efficient too. Um, and once we have all of the counts, we are going to want to add them to our total. So we can start that off to equal zero. Maybe I'll just throw that up on top. Or maybe I'll put it down here with what we're actually doing. We're going to come up with total is equal to zero. Okay. And we're going to say for integer, I can say i in char counts for each count. Basically, what we want to do is get the greatest even number that is less than or equal to the counts for that letter. So we are going to get, say, we can call it integer keep. That's going to be equal to i. We're going to divide it by 2, and then we're going to multiply it by 2. So for example, if we have 5, we're going to divide it by 2 to get 2.5, which gets truncated to 2. And then we're going to multiply that by 2 to get 4, which is the greatest even number that is less than or equal to the count for that character. And we can actually go through this example really quick to see 
at what point we would add a full odd number. So we have a, um, we have it a count of five. We could just throw the whole thing in. So let's say we do. Well, then we move on to the next one. We see that it's um, even. We could throw it in. And then we move on to the next one. We'd get its count, which would be two. And then we'd add that in. And we'd see that it's odd. And because the count is odd, five plus, two, or it would be, yeah, five plus two plus two, then we would not add the full three because we would have two sets of odd characters. And again, thinking back to what we're actually trying to look for, we need to have a set of letters that has matching, um, that has, I guess, partners, you could call them. C, D, and D match, C, and C, except for one of the letters. Uh, an odd length palindrome has kind of like an axis in the middle, which everything reflects about. So basically, we'll take all even numbers less than or equal to the given count for the character, but then we can have one odd. So the way that we will go about writing this is if, let's say if total is currently even, so if total is even, or yeah, and what we currently have for account is odd. Um, not the right symbol. Is odd. Then that means we are good to go um, for adding one to our total. So we can total plus plus. Um, let's say we have one more value right here, D. So let's actually just go through this example again. So we're going to start off with a total of zero. Keep um, is going to take this and take four from it. But since our total is even and the current count is odd, we'll just add one, okay? So then we'll keep going, we'll add two. Current count is not odd, so we're just going to leave that the same. Then we have three. So we've got five plus two plus, now what are we going to do, three? So three is odd, but our current count is um, even actually, or no, it's odd. So then we're not going to add that plus one because we've already detected an odd number and so that would be our plus one so we're just going to add plus two then we're going to move on to seven it's odd count is not even even though this is odd so we're just going to add you know the even number that is less than or equal to that number and so that's going to give us a total of let's see nine plus six is fifteen and that is what we are going to return outside of this for loop. Return total. Okay. And let's just run for some tactical issues. Okay. Um, we have to actually say not this. We can say total plus equals that. I'm just gonna run that. It should work. Can submit. Okay, let's see. Give me a second. Tell is equal to one. Expected one. Tower counts times two. I 
the total this is why two is so total is technically even at that point. It should equal one. Uh, it should not be divided. It should be mod. It should because if we were to divide, then that would become zero point one or zero point five, and then that would get taken off, and that would not equal one. No, that is not the mod operand. That is. All right, so that is the solution to the 18th problem in the grind 75. This has been Longest Palindrome.